the Philadelphia 76ers playing against the Brooklyn Nets. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. Allie, take it away. Kyrie Irving draws praise from Blazers head coach Chauncey Billups who said, quote, as somebody that played the point guard, I think Kyrie's the most skilled player that's ever played the position. His shot making is incredible and he's a better passer than people give him credit for. He's a wizard. Brian, that says a lot. Sure does, Allie. Thank you. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Kyrie Irving. And by looking at his true shooting percentage over the last five games, you can see how much he's paying attention to his shot selection. And it's showing. And the starting lineup for the Nets. Irving and Curry, they man the backcourt together. Nicholas Claxton out there with Royce O'Neal. And it's Durant in at the small forward. And for Philadelphia, Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Embiid in at the center position. Well, Clark, the season is still young. But for front offices, GMs, what are they looking for at this point of the year? I'll tell you what, that job never ends. It doesn't let up. And that's one reason I'm glad I'm in this seat versus running a team because you're always on evaluating your team. But at this juncture, you just want to kind of see how all the pieces fit. Because before you know it, it might be time to tweak your roster. And the 76ers with possession. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine. Getting them high-quality looks time and time again. Boy, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it. And you could feel that they were playing for each other. Now here's Durant. Five to shoot. To the middle. Here's Claxton. Down it goes. Jam that one home. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Three-pointer, Harden. And the 76ers, another three. Nice to see Harden continue to expand his range. He was an absolute laser from outside. Durant inside, covered by Thibel. And it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone two of two at the perimeter. Irving against Harden. Harris up top. Left side, Maxi. Embiid, a screen on Curry. Pass to Embiid. Fires from deep. Brooklyn with the board. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Now here's Irving. So versatile on offense. Averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. On the take. Soft touch off the glass. Always a threat on the drive. Irving has an explosive first step. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Outside title. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. Well, he was born in Arizona when it's time for national team play. Matisse Thibel suits up for Australia down under. The team he meddled with in 2020. Take a break. Two shots.
First one falls for him. Hey, it's fun to see NBA players like Thibel go their own way for national competition. Yeah, it is, B.A. I mean, that's part of the interesting fabric of the global nature of the game, particularly as it relates to the NBA. International tournaments are kind of like an alternate world, if you will. Guys who are NBA rivals end up being teammates or their teammates wind up on the other bench. It's actually pretty cool to see. Duran with a screen on Harden. Irving can't hit that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Brooklyn this season. Even though they had the better roster, they actually lost the season series to this team last year. Yeah, it was a surprising outcome for me and you. But hey, sometimes matchups can play out a certain way. We'll see how they do tonight. Now here's Irving. Pass to Durant. Here's O'Neal. Puts up a three. The shot off that time. Outside Harden. Now here's Harris. Down low. And here's Thibel. Jacks up a three. Claxton with a rebound. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Irving, a screen on Tybal. From 12 feet, that's good on the jumper. Boy, if you allow Durant that look, he's going to punish you. I mean, it's that simple. The 76ers have gone two for five here in the first. Embiid passes to Tybal. Harris outside. For three, Maxi. The rebound by the Nets. Outside Curry. Outside Irving. The ball's knocked loose. Screen by O'Neal. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Drops in the three. The precision pass from Curry also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. The Sixers trailing. Outside Harden, pass to Harris. And it's good! Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. There's a lot to like about Tobias Harris. His comportment, his versatility. He's adaptable. I think that stands out as well. I mean, he's had to play a lot of roles on different teams, and he's done them all at a high level. No shot. Well, with Harris, he's willing to sacrifice a larger role for the betterment of his team club. Yeah, and B.A., yeah, I think that speaks to his desire to play winning basketball, to play the game the right way, to play to his strengths and not try to do more than he can. Whether he's looked at as a primary scoring option or simply being a spot-up shooter or one of three options, Harris has that disposition that says, I'll do whatever it takes. I tell you, Embiid's teammates absolutely love setting him up. I mean, they know he's going to finish strong every time. Durant with a screen on Harden. Here's Irving. And it's Harris with the rebound. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Outside Harden. The three. The second effort. And the finish by Embiid as he lays it in. Sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Curry. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Nice body control by Seth Curry. He's so good at bending off defenders on the way up. Pass to Embiid. against Durant. Harris outside. MB 
Beads are on the double team. For three, Maxi. Can't get it to drop. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Curry passes to Irving. Outside Durant. Back to Irving. From downtown. Rebound by the 76ers. They just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Durant, covered by Thibel. The three from Curry. Outside for Irving. Launches a three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harris has got four rebounds now. And, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Outside Thibel. Harris down low. He's covered by Curry. Harris' the shot is good. Well, this is the threat that Harris poses now. He's a score from every level. Inside three-point land and at the rim. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Getting ready for the Sixers. Montrez Harold, he's checked in for Embiid. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. Niang, he's checked in for Thibel. And it's Melton in for Maxi. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Ben Simmons is checked in for O'Neal. Warren comes in for Durant. Harris is checked in for Curry. And Sumner subbed in for Irving. Brooklyn has gone just one of six from downtown. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team. Now here's Simmons. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. So we'll see Ben Simmons go to the line here. That one on Tucker. Milton's checked in for Harden. Free throw good, Simmons. Are those big decisions by the Nets front office difficult to deal with as players? You know, some guys can ignore the politics, but I'm sure others do have questions at the end of the day, though. These guys just want a ball. And ultimately, I think they just roll with the punches. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Simmons with a screen on Melton. Harris misses. The Sixers leading. Melton outside. Outside Milton. Driving in. 13 feet out. Outside Tucker. Three-pointer. No good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. 
It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. And here are the Sixers now. The Nets making their last shot. Pass to Harold. Deflects the pass. Harris against Melton. Harris, the shot is good. And now just a 1.76ers lead. You know, Harris loves to shoot it outside, but I like seeing him capitalize from there, too. Milton passes to Milton. The kick out to Milton. From eight feet away. Yep, that one goes. And the 76ers lead by three. Brooklyn has gone just one of six from downtown. Simmons with it. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. And here's Harris outside. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Harris has got five now. You know, really good to see Harris playing with that kind of confidence because, you know, these shots will only help him get better. Harrell finds Melton. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Harris on the wing. It's Warren on the wing. He's coming off a 10-point game against Memphis. Back to Claxton. And a nice finish on the layup. He's got six. Hey, T.J. Warren is definitely a scorer. He's got a shoot-first mentality. He'll give it up if you're open. Pass to Harold. Left side, Milton. Low block shot. Sumner with a rebound. Brooklyn with the ball. 141 left in the first quarter. Here's Claxton. He goes up again, and he lays it in. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Outside Milton. Pass to Milton. Two points. That one goes. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Well, Brooklyn's shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Here's Sumner, covered by Milton. Back to Sumner. The crossover. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Shake Milton. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. is good and the 76ers making a change here cork Maz is checked in it's both from the stripe the sixers trailing pass to harold Here's Korkmaz, pounded by Harris. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much there. Now here's Simmons. Harris outside. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, Harris is such an aggressive hunter of his shots. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and sometimes they get over-aggressive with it.
Free throw drops for Harris. Well, Harris has become such a solid role player, guys. A knockdown shooter who really elevates the team above self. So good. So he hits both free throws. Philadelphia shooting a fantastic 52% on the first. Outside Milton. There's the three. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. That's out in front. They lead by two. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. them force their way to the line and it seems to be working so far yeah this is how you can keep the crowd quiet though i mean methodically score at the line and take some of that energy away from the fans they don't like to have the action stop and the opposing team scoring the 76ers shooting a nice 50 percent for the game harris and Embiid are playing up front tyrese maxey is out there with james harden and it's Korkmaz in at the small forward position that's the group on the floor for philadelphia now here's Simmons. Pass to Irving. Outside Warren. There's a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, stolen by Harris! And here's Harden. His last outing at 18 points. Fader on the way. That one falls. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. A real comfort zone for Harris. I mean, he's looking to score often from this area. Second quarter of basketball. About a minute played so far. To the inside. Outside for Irving. Five on the clock. Philadelphia with the rebound. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Hornets at Spectrum Center in Charlotte. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel and B. drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys. Well, he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, Brett, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor. That magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end. It's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. Clark, looking at last year's Sixers team, they were last in the NBA in offensive rebounding. And also last in field goal attempts, and those go hand in hand. If you're not taking a lot of shots, then you're not going to have a chance for a lot of offensive rebounds. That puts tremendous pressure on your offense when you're not getting second shots. I expect them to really emphasize crashing the offensive boards this season. Good on the second one. And the front office for Brooklyn has said they need selfless players who want to be there and are available. Well, B.A., the message is pretty clear. After Kyrie Irving missed most of last year due to personal choices, the Nets won all hands on deck this go around. Harden, and again, it's Philadelphia. Wow. 
they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Here's Irving, coming off a 31-point game against Memphis. For three, Durant. Rebound by Maxi. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. We're fortunate that he missed that one. Harris outside. Pass to Maxi. Now here's Embiid. He's guarded by Irving. Embiid's shot is good. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Oh, stolen by Harris! Maxi with it. Outside Harvey. Embiid, high post. Fade away. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. And the Nets call time here. change here. O'Neal's checked in. Taking a look at the last 10 games. Here are the players who have been flat out dominant scoring the ball and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. The fourth spot held by Joel Embiid. He's been on an absolute tear offensively. He's found something that's working for him and he's sticking to it. And the Nets with possession here. Seven-point differential. And he banks in the layup. Irving's got his second basket of the game. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Maxi passes to Embiid. The fadeaway. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And even with the miss, that's a high-percentage shot for him. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Takes one from 10 feet. Good as the jump shot falls. And now just a three-point Philadelphia lead. Well, you simply can't guard that. Irving's just too nimble. Easily gets himself free of the defender. Pass to Harris. Indeed, a screen on Simmons. Inside, Harris finds Indeed. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's 6 of 9 tonight. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Curry. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Memphis. Pass to Simmons. Just five on the clock. Outside Irving. Beyond the arc. Again, Irving missing. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Got to respect that hustle. And Harden, the former league MVP, three times scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he carried his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But this his success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. Well, he's capable of scoring from anywhere. Durant's size and touch make him a prime-time threat inside. 
Martin, the pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on Simmons. Here's Harris. A shot, no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Pass to Irving. Back to Simmons. Here's O'Neal over Harris. And Brooklyn again with a bucket. Really rare to see a guy that's 6'11 have the kind of elite passing skills that Ben Simmons has. Really, really impressive. Hard pass to Harris. And Harris throws it down. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Simmons. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. And it's Irving missing. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on Simmons. To the paint. It's tipped. Curry with a steal. And now the Nets on the break. Irving with it. Harden picks him up. And Irving gets it to go. Boy, that's exactly how you punish a team in transition. Kyrie getting out in front and going straight on the attack. Now here's Harris. To the inside. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Brooklyn calls timeout. Sixers with some changes. Harrell's checked in for Joel Embiid. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Melton in for Maxi. Harris is checked in for Brooklyn. Sumner comes in for Curry. Harden against Irving. Outside Durant. Let's it go from deep. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Melton passes to Harden. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Harrell throws it down. The alley oop throwdown by Harrell right there. Emphatically. And he fires up his teammates as well. Outside Durant. Elbow shot. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Sixers leading. Now, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Uh oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Now, here's Harris. 
He has seven. And again, no good by Brooklyn. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Harden with a bucket. You gotta come to expect this from Harden. He will take whatever the perimeter defense gives him. That's the sign of a really smart player. Harden against Herbie. Pass to Durant. From deep three-point range. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And here's Melton. Fires the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Here's O'Neal. He's got five. Outside Durant. Looking to win the run. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Harrell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Irving against Melton. Pass to Harden. Six to shoot. Launches it. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Back to back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Irving. Here's Sumner. Right side, Irving. From behind the arc. And he can't get that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Melton against Durant. Melton passes to Harden. Now here's Thibel. Here's Harrell. Sumner with a rebound. And for the Nets, they're shooting only 42%. Here's Durant. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Durant's gotten four this quarter. Nice handles, tight handles, fluid handles, right into a shooting motion. Durant able to do everything on the offensive end. Now here's Harden. 11 points in the game. There's the triple. And count it. Now five for seven. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Irving against Harden. The three. Another miss by Irving. Philadelphia's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Melton outside. High off and shot, and he comes up with a bucket. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. T.J. Warren comes in for Kyrie Irving. Throughout years of play, one thing that has stayed consistent in the game of James Harden is remarkable ability to facilitate. Here's Sumner. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Warren against Milton. Here's Claxton. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Pass to Harold. Back to Harden. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Harden is fearless. Awesome at gutting the defense and making them send him to the line. He just knows how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. Shooting two. That's good from Harden. You know, he can be your primary scorer, but he also can be your primary playmaker. Offensively, Harden does everything at a diamond level.
hard and hits them both. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Now here's Durant. He has six. For three, here's Harris. Man, he can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. And they're plus five on the boards after that one. Now. To the middle. Harold passes to Harden. On the wing, Milton. Right now averaging six a game. Niang a screen. The shot from 20 feet out. It's not going to go for him. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The six is on top, leading by 17. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball. Uh, you know, get stops and... Uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that, and uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. We're ready for the second half. Welcome. The first half is in the books, so let's check out the top performers for each team. And according to my records, you guys went head-to-head -head in 12 games. I averaged 24 points, Kenny averaged 9, I wouldn't call that hit hit. Well, I was hurt like 7 of those games, but uh, who uh... <laughs> had, your, had your feelings hurt in 7 of those <laughs> no, games? No, I was actually hurt. I played like a couple minutes and then I got hurt. But who swept in the playoffs there? Yeah, that's true. I give credit where credit is due. But Houston overcame the point guard deficit. Hey, Sam Cassell, call me. <laughs> and now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the 76ers. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show it. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We are seeing an outstanding game from James Harden. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. On the floor for the Nets. Irving and Curry, they man the backcourt together. Royce O'Neal is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Claxton in at the five. Harris misses. And the Nets shooting about 43% in this one. Now Irving. Outside Curry. Just five to shoot. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Harris. It's good. Off 
the assist from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Harris has gotten six of his ten shots to go. Outside Irving. On the wing, Curry. Maxi covering the shot. Nails the baby hook. So good at figuring out ways to get inside. Seth Curry working on improving this part of his game. Embiid is screen on Irving. Bible on the wing. Inside. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Irving. And it's blocked by Harden. Look at Harden getting after it defensively with a little edge. A rude rejection like that will get him all kinds of fired up. Now here's Embiid. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Harden, a pass to Embiid. Over Irving. Embiid misses. The Nets have gone just one of three in the second half. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Outside Durant. The kick out, Curry. From outside the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. One for four in the second half. Just trying to get into a rhythm. A moment to hear from Allen, of course. Brian Sixers and Phil Scott members in the game Doc back in college. And the teacher with Will Sermon. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Thanks, Sally. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off of assists. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. You know, it seems like the Nets and KD played the will they or won't they all summer long. But no deal was found. And KD is giving it another shot with the Nets. Now, there just didn't seem to be a deal that was right to move Durant. Throws good from Durant. And Kevin Durant post Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Graham. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. And both free throws good for Durant. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scorers this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. Now here's Harris. 13 points in the game. Embiid drawing the double team from deep. Melton. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Melton's got seven points in the game. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. We love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Down low. Here's Harris. He uses the glass on the layup. He's got 15. Man, they're really working the paint now. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Side Irving. Pass to Durant. Tipped away. Clock at six. Irving for three. The rebound by Embiid. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got rebound number seven tonight. Simmons, the pass to Irving. Back to Simmons. Over Maxi. 
Second chance effort. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. When he gets aggressive shooting, and I think Simmons is at his best when he's attacking and being aggressive, earns a trip to the line there as a result. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Take a break. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. Well, in addition, I love their passing. I mean, they're buying into that team concept. That's hard to get out of your young guys. Oh, and last summer, Ben Simmons had surgery on a herniated disc. I'm not a back expert. You know, I'm more of an ankle guy, but hard to be effective when that area is just not right. Tucker's checked in for Thibel. Warren's checked in for Brooklyn. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And last season, Ben Simmons caught some flack for not suiting up in the playoffs. Grant, you think his surgery quieted those voices a little bit? You know, I think it did a little bit. But, you know, at this point, it's going to come down to his performance on the court. He does have something to prove. It'll be interesting to see what he does. And so it's Brooklyn with it. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Irving. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Maxi passes to Harris. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 on the floor. Well, the Nets shooting just 38% for this game so far. Simmons against Tucker. Another shot. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Sumner's checked in for Brooklyn. Shooting for Brooklyn, Ben Simmons. Shooting one. One shot. Free throw good, Simmons. You know, Ben Simmons so unique as a player. I think he's one of the few non-bigs who can actually dominate a game scoring below the foul line. Not just scoring, but with his passing, too. Now here's Embiid. Give him 20. Embiid drawing the double team. Six on the shot clock. Tucker with a screen. Harris misses. Brooklyn has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Now here's Curry. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Hurts to see that kind of mistake. Coach is going to be on him about that one. And some changes here for the 76ers. Harrell comes in for Joel Embiid. And Korkmaz is subbed in for Harris. And a change for the Nets. Harris has checked in for Curry. Now here's Melton. He's got seven. Pass to Harold. Now Tucker. From deep, Melton. The rebound by the Nets. Simmons has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Warren. To the inside. Claxton. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Just what they wanted from that possession. A quality look in tight. Maxi passes to Melton. Driving to the basket. That shot, no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Outside Simmons. Pass to Sumner. Harris outside. Fires for three. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Harrell's got his fifth rebound in this game. Out of bounds, it'll be the next ball. Niang, he's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Melton. Brooklyn with the ball. Outside Simmons. Pass 
to Harris. And he knocks down the 10-footer. Harris has got nine. Philadelphia has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Here's Korkmaz, pounded by Harris. Here's Milton. The Sixers with another miss. Brooklyn has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. To the paint. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. And this offense of surge is just what they needed right now. Yeah, it's still a big deal to climb. I mean, it was essential that they at least made some kind of dent in that lead before we got to the fourth quarter. Now here is Harold. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Willing passes, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Here's Sumner. Harris outside. And the three off target. It's tough to get open in this league. And when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Back to Milton. Outside Tucker. Shot clock at five. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. Let's go with a three. With one on the clock. Oh, and the jam by Harrell. Harrell is an elite offensive rebounder. He's actually one of my favorite guys to watch work the glass. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The Nets shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Screen by Claxton. Inside. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Korkmaz, good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. The Nets shooting about 41%. Pass to Harris. Here's Claxton. Harold defending. Back to Claxton. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. <laughs> well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of this game. Harden, he's checked in for the Sixers. And the Nets also making a change. O'Neal's checked in. Philadelphia's gone one of four here in the third for Braves. Here's Korkmaz. Outside Harden. Shot clock at six. The baseline day. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got rebound number eight here already in the game. A minute 15 left in the third. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Harris. Three-pointer. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Harden's got his fourth rebound in this one. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Outside Milton. Pass to Korkmaz. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Brooklyn. They're on a 14-6 run. Harris outside. Pass break, Philadelphia. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Oh, stolen by Harris. Pass break, Brooklyn. Here's Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. I think this is what Simmons loves to do more than anything. When he's looking to score, he wants to get all the way to the rack. Here's Harden. Uneasy, too, on the layup. 
yard. He's gotten four this quarter. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. The Sixers on top, delivering the blowout. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. be out of hand. Brooklyn shooting just 42% so far in the game. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. James Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Embiid in at the center position, filling out the middle. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. The two free throws will follow that with Way back in the 2020 NBA bubble season, ago, T.J. Warren was unstoppable. Averaged nearly 27 points and six boards in those 10 games he played in the bubble. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Well, following the bubble, Warren missed nearly two full seasons of play. Yeah, really a shame, B.A., because he was on a trajectory as a scorer that had him approaching elite status. Uh, but he was kept out back-to-back -back seasons with consecutive stress fractures in his left foot. But through hard work, Warren has recovered, and I hope he can regain the form he showed in 2020. Well, we often see teams make big moves right before the trade deadline. Clark, do you like when a team goes through significant changes mid-season? Well, it does keep things interesting, but as a general rule, I don't think you can do that consistently. But it does add some life and excitement to what's going on when it does happen. But major roster changes, as a general principle, are typically not going to work in your favor. Here's Warren, following the score by Philadelphia. Pass to Curry. Six to shoot. And too long on the shot. And for the 76ers, they're shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. And Harden gets it to go on the assist by Harris. Harris, he's got his fourth assist with that last one. Irving with it. Pass to Simmons to the middle. Here's O'Neal. No good that time. Excellent D there from Embiid. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? And the bucket is good. Embiid's got 22 points. Tell you what, I don't know if any center in the league can score in as many ways as Embiid. Maybe Jokic, but those two are pretty much in the class by themselves. Embiid showing us everything tonight. Here's Harris. Ooh, great D that time from Simmons. And the Nets shooting around 41%. Pass to Irving. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it can be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing cultures and, and different countries together over the love of the game of basketball. Harris, rebound Brooklyn. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Well, even as 
after it appeared that there was a falling out, Kyrie Irving remains a Brooklyn net. Now, I suppose cooler has prevailed, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Irving on the move here in the near future. They look for Embiid. And another miss by Philadelphia. All alone from mid-range. You gotta think he's kicking himself. Curry against Maxi. Outside Irving. Here's the three. And again, no good by Brooklyn. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall to the inside. It's stolen by Warren. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Simmons. Outside Irving. Down low. Here's Warren. He can't get it to go. Impede with a nice defensive effort. Tucker with the ball. Picked up by Simmons. And it's Maxi missing. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Durant with a screen on Maxi. Here's Irving. Baseline jumper right on the money. You know, Irving is deadly from mid-range. Really embraces that shot. He doesn't shy away from it. I think he can give opponents a lot of problems because of it. Now here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. For three, Maxi. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Maxi's got his first three points of the game. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you got to tighten it up on D. Durant against Harris. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. <laughs> that went on Harris. Well, that's the kind of pressure Durant puts on the defense. I mean, you just can't sit back and let him do what he wants to. Body up on him, even if you may risk a foul. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. And both free throws good for Durant. Plenty of exciting rookie talent in the 2022 class, including a few breakouts, Clark. What are your thoughts on this class overall? Well, B.A., yeah, I agree with you. I mean, a lot of talent, an awful lot of fun to watch. I'm sure you would agree. I mean, a very talented class. What strikes me is how prepared some of these guys were to step in and contribute to winning. Now here's Simmons. Durant inside. Harris on him. And that one's good by Durant. Durant's got four points in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the game. Here's Maxi. Embiid inside. He's covered by Warren. Screen by Embiid. Harris. And here's another one for the Sixers. Excels really at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. And that's the sign and mark of a very polished offensive player. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn.
New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans, and it motivates him to always give them his very best. business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think as people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. That's just good heads up basketball from Embiid making the pass to the open man. The Nets have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Pass to Simmons. Durant with it, pounded by Harris. Harris against Durant. Oh, stolen by Harris! Outside Maxi. On the wing, Harden. Back to Maxi. Tries it from 19. That one, no good. And Brooklyn will go the other way with it. Outside Irving. Back to Duran. Shoots over Maxi. And there's Duran. That one's good. On the assist by Irving. Well, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irving has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Hart, the pass to Maxi. From 11 feet away, Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got nine rebounds now. I'll tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Martin against Irving. Back to Duran. Five to shoot. Fires from the wing. And again, it's Brooklyn. Obviously, the defense has its eyes on Durant with the ball. So he cleverly uses the pick and roll to create some space. Now here's Maxi. Walled in by Curry. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. And here is Irving. Outside Durant. The three ball. That doesn't go either for Durant. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. Now here's Embiid. Outside Maxi. Over Simmons. Embiid. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Brooklyn's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Durant with a screen on Harden. Irving, that's good. Cool. Irving's got nine points now in the second half. Give Irving some room to get it off that little floating jump shot of his, and you'll regret it for sure. Here's Harden. Harden drawing the double team. Harris outside. Screen by Embiid. Puts it up from 12. The three is up. That falls. Nice set up by Harris. Harris has got five assists in the game. The Nets have gotten eight of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. 
Durant with the screen on Harden. And James Harden pulls it down. Harden's got his fifth rebound in this one. Embiid a screen on Irving. Harden against Irving. Pass to Harris. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harris has got six here in the quarter. And you look at Harris, he's really improved as a scorer. He's become a go-to option due to how efficient he is putting the ball in the basket. And here's Durant, pounded by Harris. Takes him. Durant's shot is off. Philadelphia has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. A minute 35 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Embiid, and the layup falls. Embiid's got 32 points in the game. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Sixers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, I can't imagine it'll be any different. Man, this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. A solid win for them here in the first of four meetings this season. They've come out and set the tone against the Nets. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Joel Embiid. He really influenced the game with his rebounding. Just a stellar performance. With all the work he put in, <laughs> he's going to sleep well tonight. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? <laughs> You know, B.A., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. Harold, no good. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Here's Sumner. Pass to Durant from deep. And Milton pulls it down. 35 seconds left in the final quarter. Milton outside. And here is Harrell. Back to Melton. Over Harris. And that one's good. Melton. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Pass to Harris. Takes a three. Hits a three-pointer. You know, this is where Harris is most dangerous. One of the very best from behind the arc. His eyes light up when he gets these long-distance chances. Now Milton. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. James, I'd love to know whether it's scoring, playmaking, or your defense, what aspect of your game are you most proud of? Being able to play a full course of a game and, uh, you know, make an impact every single play. Uh, that's what I'm here for, and uh, that's what I have to do. It's been fun to watch. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.